Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping on my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to uh, my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like this video just give you a good vibe or insight, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It'll be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's Vessels of Veils Dissolve Make Matrix uh, is being dropped. And that's the reason why the devil keeps pulling you back. He doesn't want you to understand the truth and fear what you may discover. And that is so true. You know, we go through so many different things in our life and you're trying to really understand why certain things happen the way they do. And um, and it's just like uh, different things that you understand. I had to be able to go through that, you know, because it's just like the uh, the super moon, the strawberry moon just passed. So there's a lot of different things. You've been getting a lot of downloads. You've been cracking codes. Uh, you've been understanding the bigger perspective on why certain things has felt in your lap uh, in your lap of your life how they have you know you're getting spiritual chills like left and right hot and cold you know you're going through like it, it's like everything is heightened right now you're facing dark night of the soul like in in ways that you have not been able to be able to do it before you're going through different kundalini you're going through um uh what else ascension like it ain't even funny all these different things and um for that to be able to happen you know, you're getting some kind of resistance is pulling you back for you to be able to, no, nah, no, nah, you, you can't be stepping off like that. You can't be stepping off. And it's just like, uh, it, it's showing you through books you're reading through, um, what is it, books you're reading through, movies you watch, whatever hobbies that you have, your interests, wherever you have, you know, that really gets your gears going. Because, you know, it'll be different things. It's like, what are some people like, oh, Rosalind, you know, I used to be able to talk to, like, man, I love this movie or whatever. And it was just like, I was telling one of my um, soul fam the other day, I'm like, hey, go watch Dr. Sleep. You ever seen that? They were like, no, nah, I ain't get a chance to do it. I'm like, yo, go watch that. Because I'm telling you, it's going to trigger off certain things about yourself that is going to make you recall a lot of different things. And it was like, it did that for me. Because it's just, it's crazy how you can watch different things when you are asleep, you know. And then when you awaken, you see a lot of different things in a whole new different way. It's just like you, you can have certain music that you listen to. Then all of a sudden, it, it takes you back to that person that you may be thinking about. Or a moment into your life. Or it'll start bringing up, uh, what is it, different emotions. Like all of a sudden, you just start crying. There'll be a lot of songs that I'll listen to. Whether it, it, it be a lot of soul pushed back behind that person's voice. Or there's there's a story that they're telling. I can feel the vibe that they why they made this certain song. And there'll be certain songs that I listen to. And it'll give me that chill or give me that drive. You know, that's why they tell you a lot of times, go listen to music. Especially when you're you're in a negative state or you may be in a depressive state. But they always tell you, make sure you listen to upbeat music. Don't be sitting up here, you know, all my Texas, live in Texas. You know, I'll be listening to all that crazy stuff like that. The way it's going to make you feel worse than you already are. Like right now. It'll be, I, I got so many different things that I wrote down that I, they want me to talk about. And it'll be, uh, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, what am I feeling today? Okay, what do you got me to talk about now? You know, and it'll be a certain vibe. I feel like, okay, they want me to talk about this. Or, you know, different things. It's just like that. And it, it's just like when you're going through those different things and you, the, the veils are being snatched, you're able to understand why certain things is taking place into your life. And you're actually showing gratitude to that where it's just like, okay, um, when I went through a life, especially when we go through spiritual awakening, you start losing people left and right. There'll be different people that you don't show so much support to and um, you don't gave everything to and all of a sudden they don't flip the script and sh you know when you need it now all of a sudden now you're in in the same corner there was and all of a sudden they ain't there for you like you were and it can be a hurtful feeling but then when you come back from that vibration of healing you're gonna appreciate that because it showed you who was in your corner who was there you know because a lot of times they tell you truth truth of in pe people's intentions towards you will show you the truth of that through dark moments of your life, through the moments where, where things is just not going right for you. And that could be the worst time, but that's actually the best time because it's showing you this is the people that you need to distance yourself from. It'll be even 
when you're going through huge transition there'll be certain things that you're, you're doing oh my god you scared the mess out of me um that you're going through and um then all of a sudden you'll start seeing that you know you you just don't have an interest and there'll be different times even it'll be just the the categories that people will talk about and it can make you very uncomfortable just by the things that they're saying it's just like oh i don't you know it's just they could be saying something in a negative way and it can you know you're like hey i want to change the subject or even if you you even you know you you start talking about different things that they're not used to and they'll be looking at you like I don't know what you're talking about or are you all right you know they'll be thinking something psychologically wrong with you and you're just woke you know you're just really woke and these are the different things that's telling you you really starting to get out there and it's just like I noticed it's just like even um like I was uh what was it I was watching like when I was saying in the last video I was talking about I was watching flatliners and flatliners is like okay what was my urge on want to watch that and it's just like um when I always look for the subliminal and other people that I talk to is like dag I thought I was the only one that does that because it's like you know things are being spoke to you in so many different ways and they're telling you to keep your eyes open don't sleep anything that's coming to you you may be like oh you know I, I may be on my phone maybe texting something and all of a sudden I get ready to send it and then the next thing you know um the the whole uh program or something that closes out that makes me maybe trying to tell you hey you may not need to do that you probably or you may be upset with somebody and it's like you responded in anger and it's just like don't allow yourself to do that and um you know it'll be so many different things that's going on right there and it'll be telling you you know hey this is what you need to be talking about or these are the things you need to be doing you know press pause for a minute and really just really self-assess really evaluate you know what's being you know what's being told to you what's being projected towards you what is it something that you needed to know within yourself and when you're doing that it, it's just like you you're getting out of that vibration you're taking yourself out of that repetitive loop you know because a lot of times we can get into that self-pity or we'll have that negative talk like we're so used to that because we don't normalize negativity for so long and instead of it just saying okay this may be not for me because you know universe got something better or reason why it's taking so long there's certain things that I might not yet be knowing about with myself there's certain things that I'm still in that growth of knowing I'm still in that in, in that um, um I'm being yoked basically or I'm in that premature stage and there are certain things that I needed to be able to uh, uh, access within that that transference of me going through transition you know and you're going through those different things into your life where it's telling you you know hey this is when, when you're allowing yourself to broaden your perspective and not seeing everything in a negative way or being so defensive about everything because when you're being like that you're in that vibration where the devil wants you to be you know and it's just like right now i'm trying to do this video and it's like the last couple of videos that i've been doing hey the music been working good now all of a sudden the music ain't working so i'm just like hey just go off on it you, you know you freestyling today you know um and it, it's just like there'll be different things that it, it, it's just like when especially if you're the type of person you're on a platform like me and it'll be oh you're trying to talk and next thing you know you all of a sudden you start choking and stuff like that there'll be certain things the devil don't want you to put out there you know or you you'll just be certain things he just don't want you to be able to speak on where it could be something that is helping somebody else in that and then when you're doing that this is the different things that's showing you hey you need to keep going now if it's something that you speaking on a negative because it, it, it's just like you trying to poke a sleeping bear of course it, it's just like okay is this is this supporting the growth that you trying to really you know you really trying to connect to is this the pinnacle you trying to reach to is this going to be something positive you know and it's just like you'll start getting very self-conscious about that what you choose to speak on what, what you choose to even say towards yourself you know and those are the different changes that is coming in where you're being very very discerning even how you even look at other people you know or it, it could be um it could be let me see uh for example you could be watching different videos 
you know, on YouTube or whatever. Because I really don't, I don't watch TV unless it's like on Tubi or Netflix, you know, or, or YouTube. I don't really do it, you know, unless I'm journaling or something like that. And it will be different things where it, it's just for me to understand what to do and what not to do. And then all of a sudden they'll start taking me back to a negative vibration. And you may be laughing about that or, oh, I did this and oh, I did that. But then your vibration is telling you. Are you mocking that, that person? Are you mocking that situation? Or you you need to just allow yourself to just let that 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 experience seek in where it's telling you what to do and what not to do. You know, in those situations. But not allowing yourself to open a door that you clearly already closed. And that's telling you. You know, because you'll feel it in the different vibrations where it's telling you. Even, it's just like, yeah, I remember when this happened. It was like, okay, first time it was funny. But then when you start carrying open, it's like, uh, you're opening a door, you're opening a door. And you're like, you know, sound, sirens is going off. And these different things is going off. So it's just like a lot of different things is coming to you where it was like, for even example, when if you are, were that type of person that when you seen the super moon, you wanted to start doing rituals. And you start doing the rituals where... You know, I always tell people, be careful that don't never put anything negative down that you try to do somebody because that can backfire and come right back to you and then they'll be adding on, then some, be doing that. But just be doing everything that is in a productive type way that's positive. You know, don't be trying to manipulate nobody's timelines. But when you do that, like say, you you trying to, for example, you, you're trying to heal from toxic traits that you have within yourself. And when you're doing that, all of a sudden, so much adversity and diversity is starting to really come to you. And it, I mean, it's really getting heavy, really, really heavy on you. And you're trying to understand, like, shoot, I wrote down that I wanted to heal from this. And all of a sudden, diversity is coming to me. I'm getting constant people that's trying to block me. I'm trying to, you know, I'm getting enemies in places I never have. and starting to come out the cracks and the crevices of every daggone thing. And you have to understand universe is like take a pause take a pause give a minute <laughs> as soon as i said it, it was like take a pause take a pause and it's just like when you went through that you don't realize when you did that you are actually healing from toxic traits of yourself because a lot of times it's going to be reflected towards toxic traits that other people keep and it's not like you're trying to force you can't force somebody to heal everybody on their Everybody on their journey, everything on their vibe, but it's allowing you to see there may be certain people that just dead set up, refuse on healing. You have to just pray for them. You know, we all got to heal, but a lot of times it takes somebody, you know, you have to really get that hard not life of experience where it's just really going to have to take something hard for you to do that. And a lot of times it, it was like with me, I, I seen I was very self destructive, very self destructive. If I look at my life, I was very self destructive, and even. When it's too quiet, I feel like something's going on. And it's just like, appreciate that stillness. Appreciate that quietness. You know, you're, you're focusing on yourself. These are those different things that's going on. You don't normalize chaos for so long. You normalize, you know, negativity for so long. Drama that constantly, you know, where you were pulled into or you just welcomed yourself in. That you need to appreciate when things are just, you know, the way it is. You know, and those are the different things it's telling you, oh, when you wrote down that ritual, that's exactly what's going on. It just didn't go in the way that you thought it was. So whatever you wrote down towards that, that you're trying to heal from is happening, but it's happening in a very chaotic way because mess is just moving. <laughs> you know, it's just getting snatched up. It's like you going through your own black version of Black Friday. Okay, you see how people act on Black Friday when people, I mean, it get chaotic. People start stomping people. You see all that BS. They were like, you go, no, uh-uh, because I wind up in jail. You got one time to hit me, you know, and it's going to be something. It, there's going to be an issue. So that's why I said I've never gone. I never let my kids go or nothing like that. But um, when you're going through that, you're snatching, you know, you're that vessel that's snatching all those veils off. And you're starting to see at a, a, at a higher perspective why certain things had took place into your life. And you're having deeper understanding, not having regret for the things that people have placed you in or the different things that they have done to you. But you're showing appreciation and gratitude towards it. Because if it didn't, it wouldn't have been able to make you hungry for that drive. You know, if somebody's trying to keep you from something, then you're allowing yourself to be nonstop. I'm about to be that freight train. That goes without, you know, I got a lot of gas, but I ain't got no brakes. And that's where it's showing you, you being that freight train. 
and you 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 know you going through different things you seeing how people are doing any and everything to stop you blocking you or whatever and god is telling you the sky is the limit you're not limited you 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 know we we all put limitations on ourselves and this is at that time where you're taking the chains off allowing yourself to just keep flying just keep going. When I tell you to break, that means you need to break. You're going to find that emergency break somewhere. But this is at that time to be that freight train. to Keep going. Keep going. So it is just like all those different things that's going on into your life. Where you are you are understanding of why you are seeing the different veils and stuff like that. Where you're seeing different codes. It's like where not codes. They tell me to stop, stop using that word. Tetris. If anybody knows the game of Tetris. You know how it's like the things, you know, they move up like this and you had to be able to turn them around for them, for them to be able to fit. And you're seeing that, you know, and then it's just like your mind is even going. It's just like when I think of things, there'll be certain things I would think like when I used to smoke herb. And we would come up and we start asking each other the most stupidest questions. It's like, you know, why is chili where it's hot and spicy and stuff like that? But they named it chili. I'm like, you know, I'd be thinking about stuff like that. Our people used to laugh at me. I say, "Hey, where did Jens go to if he got his own toothache? Because he can't really pull his own tooth." You know, I'm saying. I mean, you just seen different things where people done made operations on themselves. You know, I've seen a different doctor where he just numbed himself up and and, and you know and and, and took took out his own appendix. I'm like, man, you better than me because mm -mm, you got to be able to do that. But there'll be different times. It's like this barber cut his own hair. On the psychiatrist, listen to everybody else's issues. Where do they go to? They got their own psychiatrist too. You know, you think about different stuff like that. The man from X Men, you know, how is he able to move things? But why he don't get himself to walk? I'm just like, dang, your mind really be. This is how you know your mind is like really like that. That's a scary thought because it's just the fact is you broadening your whole thought process on how you're doing things. It's just like when you know you're, and as soon as I start talking about that nervous thing, my nose start itching like crazy. It's just like where even where your mind focused at, just the way you're doing it, my nose red is, I don't know what I'm called, damn Rudolph right now. But, <laughs> you know, it's just even where your mind is just going at, man, it, it's just crazy. Because it's like, well, it's not crazy, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. Because it's like, you know, you, you're trying to figure out, okay, where, where the direction of my path is going right now. Because God's like, I'm giving you the reins. You know, it's like, because any other time, it's like, it could be, you could be that person that you went to God about every little single thing, which is good. But there's a lot of times where God is like, have faith into yourself. Being able to move. Because if it's something, you'll know when I'm getting in touch with you. Like, hey, you, you know, you're getting a little bit too cocky with yourself. You're feeling yourself way too much. You won't get that vibration with like, pull back. Come on, back from the light, Carolyn. Come on, back from the light. Or it's just the fact is you, oh, you be with your light. light let the light be with you. You know, and it'll be certain things like that that's coming in. And you're feeling it because it's just like so much is going on right now. It's just like, you know, um... It's like you're getting crazy dreams right now. It's getting real vivid. Even it's just like your your family that passed on is coming to connect with you in the sleep realm as well as the wake. You know, and, and they're giving you these different um they're giving you these different um thoughts or they're they're having certain sayings to be able to encourage you to let you know even when you feel like you're by yourself because right now you it may be in isolation where this is where you had to pull back and you've been isolated. May you know, everybody may be away from you right now and um, maybe certain people that are coming back you'll know the different uh ways that somebody's coming back for you uh to where they don't win on their healing vibration or something unguided back to them and they're like hey i'm i'm here to help you you know you're getting people that are in your in that, that's going to be in your corner that where god's placing people in your life that needed to be there but then it's just like keep your eyes on the ones that hey it's something about that person. Be be careful, cause it'll be just like certain things they'll tell you not to say. And be like, oh, I've been, mm, I've been chilling, you know. And it's just like not, not everybody need to know everything about you. Not everybody need to know every single thing you're going through. Keep it to yourself. You know, you're moving. You know, when you're moving like that, you don't need to be making announcements like that. Just make your moves. You know, different things, cause a lot of times you don't even know. You know, God's just like, well, I need you to move this way, but why? Just move that way. Don't ask no questions. Just move this way. You Not everything you need to know. You know. And they're even telling you there's a lot of things. It's like, shh. You know, because God's maybe coming to you. It's like, you saw that. 
He's like, yeah, I saw that. Observe it. Don't absorb it. Okay, take note of that. Take a mental note. Okay, you need to write that down. Okay. It'll be different things that open up. Just like I was making a video. I never talked about anything that was Islamic. You know, and it was just like, um, they want me to talk about the the, uh, the demurrage. Uh, demurrage. And, and the, you know, I haven't made that one yet. But it's about the Korean. And, you know, and I was just like, about the Korean. Because something was edging me on to be talking about the Korean. And I was just like, Korean is like your, you know, your twin companion. And stuff like that. And came up in threes like that. And it's like, I noticed at a certain time I started talking about some body parts and stuff. Started tingling and be itching and stuff. Like, they were like, what the heck is going on? You know, and, um, and it's just letting you know, hey, you're on the right subject. Hey, this is what you need to talk about. This is something that, you know, you learning about, you know, just about yourself. Now you're helping other people to do it too. You know, these are different things that they can Google. That they can do their own research on. I always tell people, trust your own source. You know, trust that source that's coming to you. Either it's trying to tell you, hey, this is something you need to read up on. Don't say yay or nay. Go ahead and do your own research and be able to see this is what it's talking about. This is something I need to learn about myself. Because right now your brain is expanding. And they're telling you to be able, you're, you're looking at everything from a broader perspective. And having a deeper understanding on why certain things has happened the way they do. And be able to take light of that. Anything that goes on into your life is never an accident or a coincidence. Everything is happening for a reason. And seek that and be able to understand that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Sam C and Lauren Brandon. Much love to you as well. You know, like I tell people, you know, I leave all my contact um, information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, I love being able to help people um, broaden their perspective about their path of purpose, understanding why certain things happen, um, being able to. Uh, just to be able to help other people the best way I can. I love to be able to do that and tell people all the time. You know, if you, you reach out to me, I said DM me, you know, email me. And I try my best to be able to help out. You know, whatever we speak on is confidential. Uh, and it, it's just like being able to do that. It's like me helping you, helping me, helping you. And I love to be able to do that. So um, just being able to do that is truly a blessing to me. Um, if you're ever investing or even love listening to podcasts, I, I, I put it put up my own podcast here on my um, community. Part of my videos, I mean on my channel, I use those, uh, share those as well on my community page on my channel um or anybody who's thinking about doing um podcasting you know i always tell people anchor app is the best way to go you know it's very sim simple if you're not tech savvy you know it's very simple on how to put it together where it can be shared all those different things and you know i love being able to do my podcasting uh on that too and just being able to you know uh expand your purpose is very beautiful so being able to do that i love to be able to help other people on doing that if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation i also tell people the cash app is there as well um and uh whatever you you know i'm placing so many beautiful vibes whatever you're needing right now to to keep going towards your purpose i'm placing that on you you know being able to do that whatever it is that you're hoping out i, I want to get the vibrations to magnify that just to be able to know that you want to work hard and you deserve that plus so much more so stay stay pre being persistent consistent don't sleep on yourself if you need to take a break you take that break but you jump back more powerful than you are when you took a sit back and a kick back so um even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things that really take somebody a long a uh, long way and just for you doing that without one uh waiting to see if something will come back in return it's going to take you even further so much love to you shalom i say grand risings god bless namaste much love peace